Well, how y'all doing today? Hope you all having a blessed day. So, uh, today I took a notion of making some shepherd's pie. So I got 80-20 going in here. Now, I'm out of onion powder. But, you know, you can always mince up some onions and put it in there if you want to. But I got me some garlic powder going in here, black pepper, and some Cajun seasoning. But you can use Tony Saturated if you want to. But now be careful because that, though, both of those are seasoning salts. So be careful if you add more salt. All right, so I'm browning this all up. I'm going to leave that oil in there because uh, I think that's a lot of the flavor is in that. Unfortunately, they inject our hamburger with water, but that cooks out of there. So I'm going to brown this up. All right, so on top of that, I'm going to add a can of cream corn. Now, there's a lot of ways to make shepherd's pie. A lot of ways. And I have made it in a lot of different ways in, in my time, okay? And uh, now, it's originally called shepherd's pie because the shepherds run their sheep uh, to market, and they were out in fields and stuff like that, and they made it with lamb, okay? And I have made it with lamb, but it's not as good. I don't, I don't like it as much. You might. And you can make it with ground chicken, too, if you want to. But I have tried it with lamb. Tried the original recipe. And I did not like it as much as I did when I was making it with hamburger. So I'm going to put some cream corn here. Because I like that the best. Like I said, I've tried mixed vegetables. There's a lot of different ways to, to make this. There surely is. And uh, now I'm going to be using... Uh, instant mashed potatoes people I don't hardly ever use instant mashed potatoes but uh, you know it's part of my prepping supplies and stuff now when I was 13 my mother went to work with my father he was a foreman of a bindery he went into printing and uh, when I got home from school I did chores and I started supper for him okay and I did all that for five dollars a week, all right. And so uh, my mother said, "You're going to have to learn how to make instant mashed potatoes." So I got mm, all right, mom. So I got uh, I got pretty good at making instant mashed potatoes. Uh, they were pretty close to homemade. Now I got milk, water, and butter going in here. I'm going to put me some black pepper in there. And then you add your instant spuds and you stir them up until they get to the right consistency. Okay, and, and that was a new thing for me. But I got so good at that, you couldn't hardly tell. Uh, of course, being part Irish, I have to have my potatoes every once in a while, and I could tell. But if you've ever had a TV dinner, you've had instant potatoes. Trust me. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to add some black pepper to this. Mix up my instant mashed potatoes. Then I'm going to spread them all along the top of this. Now I'm going to start by putting a dollop here, a dollop here, a dollop here. I'm going to start from the outside and work my way in and smooth it all out. Put some more black pepper on there and pop it in the oven. Let it go until it's bubbling. All right. And then pull it out of there. And I like my shepherd's pie with ketchup. I do. Um, like I said, I always use real mashed, real potatoes. But, uh. I'm using up some of what I got right now, so. And I'm going to pop that in the oven and let it go to that corn and that hamburger is bubbling up the top, uh, over the top of that, uh, those instant mashed potatoes. And it'll brown on top, okay. Now, if you want, you can put a little shredded cheddar cheese on there, okay. Uh, like I said, I like mine with ketchup, I do. And so that's what I'm doing today. It's pretty easy to make a shepherd's pie. I like it this way. I've tried it several ways, as I had said before. Um, uh, originally, like I said, it's made with lamb, but I've tried that, and I don't like it as much as when you make it with hamburger. So that's what I'm doing today, and I hope you all having a blessed day. Let me know in the comments what you all having for supper today, okay? You all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.